So for this video, we're going to go ahead and take the uh, showcase and get that set up the way that we want it to, to be set up. So what we want to remember is that our showcase was going to be 784 pixels wide. Uh, we want uh, five pixels margin between it and the top of the page, six pixels margin on either side, uh, which we which we should get because we we set the uh, we set it at a width of 784. So we're going to be able to uh, get the margins that we want by positioning this correctly using like the uh, uh, margin auto to get it to float into the center. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy set up now. 200 high, 784 wide with a 2 pixel border. And we'll go into the style sheet and start setting this up. So we've got div. This is going to be div.showcase. And we wanted the uh, height to be 200 pixels. We wanted the width to be, what was it, 784 pixels. And we want the margin on the top to push it down six pixels down from the top of the browser. And then we wanted a border that's going to be two pixels. Oops, the PX has to go right with the number two pixels, solid black. And we're going to make some additional changes to this, but we're just going to stop here and take a look at it real quickly and see where that gets us. So right now you can see it does. Uh, we, we could set the margin on the left to the six pixels to get it where we want it to. The other way we can do it is set the margins, uh, do a margin set to auto to split the, to take this distance here and split the difference between the two sides. So I'm going to go ahead and do it that way. So I'm going to go in here, we're going to go margin and set the margin to auto. And I might as well put it up with my other, other margin definition. I've got margin top set to 6, so we want to leave that. So margin auto, let the browser select how the margin goes. So it's going to split the left right difference evenly and then explicitly set the top margin to the six pixels and then let's let's set a border radius on this just to round the corners off a little bit so border radius let's do 10 pixels for border radius save that and see where that takes us to so now we've got the margin split equally to the left and the right we've got our top margin set uh, we haven't set the bottom margin yet. We wanted, uh, I believe, 10 pixels. We said we want a 10 pixel margin at the bottom. We might make that smaller later. So we have margin auto, margin top, 6 pixels, margin bottom. Set that to the 10 pixels. And we'll save that. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set a background image right now. So background image. And I'm going to use, let's see, we need to use URL, and URL has to be in quotes. And now I have to say where the image is. So right now, I remember, I'm in my Outdoors folder. I'm going to step out of my Outdoor folder and then look in, whoops, here's my Outdoors folder. I'm going to step back out of the Outdoors folder and then open the Images folder. So dot, dot, forward slash to step back out of the Outdoors folder. Look in the Images folder. Inside the images folder, there is an outdoors folder. I need to open that outdoors. And inside the outdoors folder, I have Horseshoe Lake Showcase. So this is a JPEG I made specifically for the showcase. My showcase is 784 pixels wide, right, by 200 high. So my picture is uh, big, a little bit bigger than the settings so that um, that's big enough so that it, uh, it will completely uh, completely cover that showcase. So if you make it too small then some of the background would show through. So I edited it specifically to go in the showcase. So it's horse, shoe, lake for the showcase is what I named it and that's a dot jpg. And save this and what you're gonna see is that when we load this, 
the showcase division has this header inside of it. And what we're going to see is this header is going to push that image down. See that this, so the header pushes the image down, even though it's a background image. And so what we need to do is take care of that next. And the way that we're going to do it is by positioning outdoors, specifically where we want it. And we're going to do this in a series of steps. I'm going to use the um, position property. And the position property, which you should do some reading about, there, it's got different uh, different values. It can take static, relative, absolute, fixed, sticky, and they all have their uses. I'm going to I'm going to position it relatively, uh, but, but I want to talk about kind of the difference between relative and absolute as we do this. So what I'm going to do to fix this issue here, ah, what I'm going to do to fix no. I accidentally closed my page. That's not what I needed to do. And uh, we need to go all the way back out to the desktop and I need to get in this folder, this folder, this folder. This is the guy we're working on. What I need to do uh, is I'm going to position this and I'm going to move it. And when I once I move it and take it out of the, the flow of the code, the picture will position in where it wants to. So there's two ways to position this and notice I've already given my header one a class name that's because in my in my style sheet I'm going to go header one dot uh, showcase I'm going to create a showcase class specific to my header one and there's two ways I can position it so use the position property and I'm going to do I'm going to do absolute first and what absolute does is it says it's absolute says hey are you in a are you inside of a block level element and in this case my header one is inside of this block level element here and usually you're going to take that block level element and you'll set his position to relative and all relative position is, it says, hey, my positioning is going to be uh, relative to where I would show up naturally. Relative position means I'm positioned relative to where I would naturally be positioned. And when I set that to relative, it shouldn't change how anything looks here. So the showcase, if I set it to absolute, so if I set my header one to an absolute position, which has to be spelled correctly. If I set it to an absolute position, what it does in the HTML code, he, sa he says, hey, I'm header one, I'm positioned absolutely. Am I inside of a relatively positioned element? And I just, I just positioned my showcase division as relative. And what it will do is when I position it absolutely, it will look for the upper left-hand corner of that uh, element that it's inside of, and it will position itself with respect to it. So I can move it down and to the right with respect to the upper left hand corner of the containing block level element. So in my style sheet then for example what I could do is I could set margin top I could set it to say 50 pixels. This is something random here because we're going to change this and I could say margin margin right margin left let's do left margin left hand margin left will go over 70 pixels and what that is going to do then is because it's positioned absolutely with respect to the showcase division it will move it down 50 pixels and 70 pixels to the right of the upper left hand corner of the showcase division that the header is inside of so now if I go back and refresh outdoors with respect to the upper left hand corner of the division in which the header one is contained it's moved it down in and to the to the left if we spelled things right margin left 70 it didn't move it to the left because my px is missing so i'm going to save that and refresh and now it's moved over and notice by moving this by taking it out of the flow of the code and specifically positioning it has allowed my picture to pull up in and fill the whole background of my showcase division um, I'm going to not position it this way. I'm going to position it relatively. So I'm going to say position relative. And then what I'm going to do is 
ref uh, save that and refresh so you can see how that changes things. So it's back impeding things again. Um, I'd like to I'd I'd like to move it down. So I'm going to go margin top and let's see it's 200 pixels wide so let's move it down maybe maybe down 75 pixels to start so margin top 75 pixels and that should shove it down and then right now we've got this thing uh, we've got the background of the box. This is a block level element, so its background, its rectangle is taking up the whole width. I could get the text here centered by simply uh, saying text align and then saying center. I could center the text that way. So I'm just going to take this through in a series of steps. That centers the text, but this the it's a block level element that's in, you know, now covering my entire background picture. So maybe we set the background of the block level element as a percent of the showcase header or showcase division. So I could I could do that. I could say width. Let's take the width down to 25% and save that. And now the text is centered in a smaller a smaller block because I've defined the block to only be 25% of the width. So now to get the text out in the center, I would actually need to take the margins and set them to auto, which will then float that block level element out into the middle. Maybe I want it down a little further. Maybe I want it down to the 100 pixel mark. And then the other thing that we could do if we wanted to, I'm not going to do it, but we could. So we could go background, back, Ground, we could say color, uh, we could set it to transparent. So if I save that and refresh, it should get rid of the, the background color now. And so I could see the picture through the background of the block level element. You can see in this case, it makes it harder to read. I would have to maybe find a different font, font color. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the background color on it just for readability, but I could set it to transparent if I wanted to. So there's the showcase, header showcase, one last save, and we'll take a look at that. And we'll call that, we'll call that good. There's, there's the showcase, showcase is done. I'll save this video. And the next one we'll move to working on the links here. We'll take care of the links next. So end of video.